In this video, I want to show you how to get great sums and great counts from a huge list of data. If you notice this spreadsheet, it has over 200 transactions. Now these happen to be uh, expenses from when you travel with your job and uh, you have a big list here and you have different countries and different uh, expense types and things like that. So let's say we want to get a sum of the dinner items only. Now, of course, you could do these kind of things with a pivot table or there's a great function in Excel that's called subtotals. And I have videos about those topics as well. But here we can do it with a formula. So I'm going to come over here and I'd like to get the sum of the dinner items only. So we're going to use something that's called sum if. So I'll say equals sum if open parentheses. Now notice how the sum if has three parts of the formula. The range is where the data is. So in this case, the range happens to be column F. I'm going to highlight column F. I'm going to type in a comma. Now the criteria is what we're looking for. So I'll click on the word dinner right there. And then uh, I'm going to type in another comma. Now the sum range means when I find the ones that are dinner in column F, what other column do I want to add up? I want to add up column E. And I'm going to close my parentheses. So the whole thing says equals sum if open parentheses F colon F comma I2 comma E colon E close parentheses. So that means give me a sum of all the dinner items. So go to column F, uh, find all the ones that are in cell I2, which is the word dinner. And when I find those, then add up the corresponding amount that's in column E for those rows. So in other words, it's going to add up all of the dinner items. I'm going to hit the enter key. And we got a number there. So if I took all of the dinner items individually and added them up, we would get $526.05. Now here's the way I did it that way. Uh, so let's say we also want the sum for lunch and for breakfast and for the other categories. So I'll type in lunch here, breakfast, uh, taxi, Subway, uh, what else do I have? Snack, entertainment, and other. Okay, so now I'm going to get that number and we're just going to drag it down with the black cross. We call that a speed fill. And notice how I have the sums for the other categories as well. So now it says, you know, sum I3 and the next one says I4. So very quickly, I have the sums for all the categories, very uh, just like that, using the sum if. Now, let's say next we want to find out how many dinner items were there and how, uh, how many lunch items were there. Then we can use something that's called count if. So I'll say equals count if, open parentheses. Now, the count if only has two, uh, two parameters. The first one is the range, and it's still column F. That's where the data is, column F. And I'll type in a comma. The second one is the criteria, which is still the word dinner. So I'll click, I clicked on cell I2, and then we'll close the parentheses. So the whole thing says equals count if, open parentheses, F colon F, comma I2, close parentheses. That means give me a physical count, how many dinner items were there. And we'll hit the enter key. And we have 25 and we'll get the black cross and copy it down. And now I have the counts for the other categories as well. So, I mean, these are just so powerful. You can have a huge list of data. Uh, it can go all the way down the, the uh, spreadsheet. And right away, I have sums by the categories using the sum if, and I have counts by the categories using the count if. Now, then let's try an average. And then we can use something that's called average if. So we'll say equals average if open parentheses. Now this one has three parameters, just like the sum if. In fact, it'll be the same three as the sum if. So the range is still going to be column F. That's where the data is. I'm going to type in a comma. The criteria is still the word dinner. So I'll pick in the word dinner right there and then another comma. And the average range is going to be the same as the sum range. What column do I want to average up when I find the dinner item? So I want to um, average up column E. And we'll do a close parenthesis. So it says equals average F, F colon F, 
comma I2, comma E colon E, close parentheses. So that means take the average of the dinner items. And we get a number there. Of course, we're going to copy that down. Look at the black cross and double click. And now we have the average for the rest of the uh, categories. Now, I, of course, I like to format that. That's just formatting. So I'm going to highlight those numbers and I'll make it a uh, number format. And now they just have two decimal places. So it looks a whole lot better. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is um, what if you wanted to do a sum if with more than one condition? The regular sum if can only do one condition. So if you wanted to do a conditional sum with more than one condition, then you can use something that's called sum ifs. So over here, I'll type in the word France. And I'll just copy the word France all the way down. Good. So that's going to be part of our equation as well. So in this case, we're going to start the formula. Here I have a column that says sum France only. So I'll say equals sum ifs with an S at the end, open parentheses. Now notice how this time the sum range came up first. So the sum range is still column E. That's the column that I want to eventually sum up when the criteria is met. Comma is looking for the first criteria range. Well, the first criteria range is still going to be column F. I'm going to highlight column F and I'll type in another comma. And the first criteria is still the word dinner right there. So I'll click on cell I2. Now the whole point of the sum ifs is so that we can do more than one criteria. You can have as many as you wanted to actually. So I'll type in another comma. Now we're on the criteria range two. So the second criteria range is actually column B where we have our countries. I'm going to highlight column B. And then we'll do another comma. And the second criteria is the word France right there, which is going to be cell H2. Now, I could keep on going with even more criteria when using the sum ifs. You could have as many as you wanted to, but this will make the point that I'm trying to make. So I'll, we'll close the parentheses at that point. Let's see what our formula looks like. Equals sum ifs, open parentheses, E colon E, comma F colon F, comma I2, comma B colon B, comma H2, close parentheses. So that means... It has to be France, and it has to be dinner at the same time. And then it's going to sum up the ones that are both France and dinner at the same time. So that's going to be a much uh, So that's kind of a subset of this number over here. This is the ones that, of all of the dinner items, and this is the ones that are dinner and France only. Because we use some ifs, we can do more than one calculation. I mean, more than one uh, criteria. So I'll get the black cross there, and I'll double click and go all the way down. Now, in that case, it went all the way down, but that's okay. I can get rid of uh, a lot of these zeros. Now, notice how this one says zero. So there must not have been any taxi items that were also zero at the same time. And even the other, there was no other ones that were also dinner at the same time. Now, let's do the ones that are France. And then let's do a count this time. So we'll do count ifs equals count ifs, open parentheses. So we'll do the criteria range one is going to be column F and then a comma. And the actual criteria one is going to be the word dinner like we've done a couple times. And type in another comma. Now the criteria two, I mean the criteria range two will be column B again. Column B. And then another comma, and then I'll click on the word France. And just like with the sum ifs, we could have done more than one calculation or you know more than two criteria, but this will make the point that I'm trying to make. So I'm going to go ahead and close that parentheses. And let's see what our formula says. Uh, so we have equals count ifs, open parentheses, f colon f, comma i2, comma b colon b, comma h2 close parentheses. That means give me a physical count how many were both France and dinner at the same time. And we get an answer there. And then of course we'll copy that right on down. So we can get rid of those extra zeros again. All right. So you can see how the count ifs and the sum ifs, when we put an S at the end of the formula like that, then we could do multiple conditions. And then finally, let's do an average ifs. 
So we'll say equals average ifs open parentheses. And it's going to be very similar to the layout of the sum ifs. The average range is going to be which column do I want to eventually average. So we'll pick on column E. We'll do a comma. The first criteria range is still column F. And I'll do another comma. And then the, um, the first criteria is still the word dinner, which is I2. I'll type in another comma. And now the second criteria range is going to be column B. All right, so we'll do column B and another comma. And once again, I'll click on the word France and we'll close the parentheses. So the whole formula says equals average ifs open parentheses E colon E comma F colon F comma I2 comma B colon B comma H2 close parentheses. So that, take, that means take an average of the ones that are both France and dinner at the same time. We get some kind of number there. And then of course, we will copy that down. And now, of course, some of them might say division by zero when we, when we don't have any zeros there. So first of all, let's go ahead and make that, um, let's make that a number format. Now, what I could do is instead of saying division by zero, maybe we'll just have zero there. So we can use something that's called if error. Uh, so the if error can be used anytime that you have an error in Excel uh, to give it a better message. So what I'll do is I'll click on that first formula and I'll say if error, open parentheses, go to the end of the whole thing. I'll type in comma zero and then a close parentheses. So we have if equals if error, open parentheses, average ifs, open parentheses, E colon E, comma F colon F, comma I2, comma B colon B, comma H2, close parentheses, comma zero, close parentheses. So that means if the average ifs give us some kind of error, including the division by zero, then just put the number zero there instead of showing division by zero. So you can use the if error anywhere you have a normal uh, function and you want to replace the error message with something better. And then we'll copy that down again. And now you'll see how the division by zeros now actually say the word zero. I think people like it better that way. All right, so we did the sum if, the count if, and the average if. But then when you want to add more criteria, then you put an S at the end of each one of those. So we do some ifs, count ifs, and average ifs. And these will be great in when you have large amounts of data and you want to get some counts or averages within different categories.